Hey Virgo, welcome to Soul Vibin. Back with another reading here for you. So Virgo, we're going to tap into your energy to see who or what is coming up around you, to see what the vibe is, to see what you need to know at this current moment. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and for being here today. I send you nothing but good love and energy. So let's go ahead and see what's coming up around you. We get fear for you, Virgo. Fear, I realize I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Or you may be fearing something, you're scared of starting something, or you're scared to come into something, or let's see what this is about. Purpose. I know what I am here to do. So some of you are scared to come into your life's purpose, or you're blocking your own blessings for coming in. Okay, so surrender your need to control things. Okay, surrender your need to control. Some of you may be um, living in a frequency of fear. When you live in a frequency of fear, you can't let your blessings to come in. So it's like almost like you want to um, do good for yourself, but you're blocking your own blessings just by the energy you're putting out. Okay, so this just may be for some of you, not for everybody. Okay, maybe this is just a special message for someone who needs to hear this. But whatever the case is, okay, let's tap in. Virgo, 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 what's happening with Virgo? So you're being asked to live with purpose, okay? Don't live in fear, live with purpose. Know why you're here, know why you came here, know what you're doing, where you're going, know that you're going to be fine. That's what I'm getting, the magician, yep. Uh-huh, tower and empress, wow. Very powerful time for you. It seems like a spiritual awakening happening here. Something that's going to shake you up in order for you to realize what's been really going on. Wow. Some of you are scared about something. You have all the right to be scared with the tower card here. I don't know if this is something that's going to test your patience or test your love or test you in some type of way. But with the tower card here and the empress card, this can have to do with something in love. This may include... Um, there you are as the Empress energy for sure, but this may include your Divine Masculine or someone under the sign of an Aries. Um, someone here may be walking away with the Tower card. Okay, the Tower card coming up here. This can be something that um, may be ending for some of you. Okay, something, something is coming to like a full circle. And the vibe I'm getting is like, even if it's nothing negative, I feel like you're coming full circle, beginning, end, alpha, omega, and master. So you're becoming the master of something here for sure. Maybe you're starting to know what your life's purpose is or something like that. That can be it for some of you. For others of you, this has to do with love for sure. For some somebody in around you, I feel like at the end of the day, um, you've, you've chosen this path. Okay, you've chosen this path. And this path that you've chosen is going, it's leading you in the right direction. But before it gets into the right direction, it has to take people out of your life first that you no longer need. Especially if you're coming into your life's purpose, okay, and you've started your spiritual journey. It's, it, it'll be tough, you know, it can be tough. Tower moments, you know, those, those are the scary ones. But at the end of the day, you're winning and you're learning your lessons, okay? You're learning your lessons, absolutely. So Virgo, let's tap in just a bit more. Virgo, there you are. Okay, yeah, you. You've you're the magician. You're the you're in control of your life. So that's something spirit wants you to know. Spirit wants you to know that you're in control of your life and you being in control and you knowing your purpose and you standing in your divine feminine energy is what's going to get you to where you want to be. Like this is almost like if you're scared of uh catching covid or something like that. It's telling you don't live in a state of fear, come out of that state and uh, and just know you're gonna be good you know what i mean the ace of cups is something very beautiful okay the ace of cups is spirit offering you a new opportunity um to accept things that come into your life or allow these blessings to come in allow this tower moment to happen in order for for other things to bloom and for your emotions to um mature in some type of way here okay with the ace of cups this may be new love for some of you okay under the sign of an aries this may you know what you know what this can also be you guys 
something really positive with the tower card here and the ace of cups this can just take you by surprise <laughs> all right and maybe that's why you're scared because it, it, it's kind of shocking maybe for some of you um something that has come through is kind of shocking but it's all almost like something that you've been wanting as well here with the justice card this is this is libra energy yes but this is all about, you know, balance. And maybe there's a beautiful balance coming through here when it comes to your love situation, maybe with your special person. And this balance happening for you, maybe taking for you by taking to you by surprise. It's almost like if you have always wanted to get married and then boom, all of a sudden, um, you know, they propose to you and you're like, whoa, like that's the kind of energy I'm getting. It's like you're kind of surprised, but you're also very content with it and you're allowing it to happen. Empress is all about allowing and, you know, standing um, out of out of her own way and allowing things to just flow and be as they are. All right. The Empress energy always gives, always giving, you know, it's almost like if you've always been giving, you're about to receive something very, very beautiful that may take you by surprise. Okay, very beautiful surprise here. So let's see. What's to come? Four of Wands. Yeah, marriage. Some of you will be getting engaged, getting married here. Wow. King of Wands. This is going to make you very excited, very happy. You're going to feel like finally something's working out for you. The King of Wands can also associate with just, you know, a lot of uh, passion and around you with someone. I feel like still you're a little bit unsure of this, okay? deep inside you're a little bit unsure of it yeah but at the end of the day let's see one more last one here um five of ones so i feel like don't beat yourself up over it okay think and go through your emotions by yourself and and um try to work through the, you know, the situations that you're given here okay this can have to do with a relationship around you for sure maybe other people are gonna be against this <laughs> god What's going on, Virgo? I feel like maybe other people are going to be against against what you want to do. But the, at the end of the day, it's like take time out to really see what you want. And um, I feel like the answer will come your way. Okay, 10 of discs. Um, so yeah, definitely proposals, contracts, agreements, new opportunities coming your way. Someone's going to come in and make you an offer, all right? Um, this person that comes in to make you an offer can be under the sign of a fire sign. Virgo, or you may be a Leo Virgo cusp. Um, they're going to offer you something stable. A lot of stability coming your way, okay? Yeah, this is one of your lovers. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. It's one of your lovers coming forward and telling you something, giving you something. Um, at the end of the day, I feel like it's going to make you really happy. You know, it's going to make you really happy. All right, so let's see. What's the self-care oracle for Virgo, please? Self-care oracle for Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Self-care oracle for Virgo is here. A lot of abundance in around you, though, with the Ace of Cups and the Empress card. So prepare for that. You're going to start to see um, something come into very beautiful balance. I feel like you've earned this. You've worked for this. You've wanted this. And so you're receiving it. It's almost like Spirit is gifting this to you for everything you have been through. Virgo, let's go ahead and clarify this reading up. The Magician and the Hermit card here. A lot of major arcanas um, in your reading. <laughs> Overall, this is new love. This is to usher in a new way of being. Um, focus on love. I'm getting like, it's like the sign, for some of you, the sign here is to focus on love over fear. Love will always outdo fear no matter what. Like, it doesn't matter what you're scared of. Love will always outdo fear. Do you see these major arcanas all surrounding this love cup of love it's like let love in king of wands has popped out again with the magician and the hermit i feel like um for some of you this has to do with love i'm not gonna lie this king of wands aries energy or someone who may be a little bit jealous or who may be kind of assertive very confident in themselves a little bit cocky um the king of wands this is telling me that this person may need some time to themselves This person may need some time to themselves. I feel like they're going through their own thing. They're not sure about love right now. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they're unsure. Oh my God, look at that. 
this person may be so unsure about love. I don't know. They're scared of love. I don't know if this is you. It can be. If you are a Leo and you're watching from like another sign or something, um, you may be unsure about love for some reason. Um, it's almost like you, you like to ignore your emotions. You rather just focus on, on two things at once, two people at once, or you like to just kind of juggle things and go in between things because at the end of the day, um, there's fear involved. There is. You're, you're scared of um being left alone you're scared of being left alone the spirit is saying don't don't worry about it everything's gonna work out fine it's almost like you know that's what's gonna bring you balance what's this about ten of swords yeah you're scared to be hurt someone here is scared to get hurt i don't know if this is you virgo or your person whatever the case is um someone here is very scared to get hurt and so that's why they like go back and forth that's why they don't know sometimes they even ignore you they stay focused on money and their job they're always at work they may work two jobs or do two different things that keep them busy and so they it's not they think you're beautiful okay they they know you're beautiful they know how assertive you are and you're like probably one of the best things that has happened to them if this is resonating with you um this love reading i'm giving right now um at the end of the day they're choosing to end things because i feel like it's a part of the karmic cycle or this is your karmic relationship or karma but with the ten of swords it's because they're scared to get hurt the world card the ten of swords and the world card so something is ending here okay something is ending i'm sorry that my camera there we go <laughs> just want to show you these are so cute i know but um something's ending so what's to come a lot of happiness and you're going to set the boundaries too you're going to start to set boundaries for sure you're being asked to set boundaries actually and you're being asked to actually rethink if you actually want to come back with this person i don't know if this person wants to come back around Okay, maybe that can be the case that this person wants to come back around and you're going to say no to this because this is their karma. I mean, it is it's Mercury retrograde. Exes come back during this time, trust me. Uh, Four of Cups, uh, it's asking you to rethink, re rethink this, but don't beat yourself up over it. Justice card has come up again. Yeah, it's almost like justice will be served for what happened um, in some type of way. And it's going to be up to you. You're going to hold the key. You're going to hold the scales here. So you're going to decide uh, whether you want to do this or not. Okay, one more. Ace of Wands. Oh, yeah. You might want to do, <laughs> you might want to go for this is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you might. For some of you, you might start something new here. With the world card that I put down in front of the Justice and the Ace of Wands, you might be starting something new with this person, okay? After a bad ending, you might start something new. And you know what? If that's the case, it is what it is, you know? Give it a shot and see how it goes. There may be an apology or something that just needs to be shared. This person is realizing that they actually love you. They're starting to see your worth. And they realize that, you know, there's a bright future with you. King of Pentacles, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or maybe this is you feeling this way. Whatever the case is, you have nothing but love headed your way. Let me tell you. A big, huge cup of love headed your way. So let's go ahead, Virgo, and abundance planning. Yeah, lots of abundance headed your way. I'm telling you, there's a new opportunity. This can be a job. doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be anything. But um, put the energy where it resonates, most definitely. Um, that is all I have for you. Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. I really enjoyed giving you this reading. I hope I brought some clarity to you. And I will appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. I will see you guys at your next reading. Bye for now.